Hey, all right, guys. Mr. Mice is here. This is uh, 2-5B. This is the second one for uh, 2-5. It's just the calculus. We're talking about non-differentiability, basically when the derivative does not exist. So here are some cases when the derivative does not exist. Um, in each of these cases, the derivative, there's no derivative when x equals 1. We call these not differentiable. So here are the cases. We either can have a hole in the graph because, well, basically, look, guys. The first three here are examples of not discontinuities, right? We have a, a, a removable discontinuity at a hole. We have a jump discontinuity, and we have a vertical asymptote, which is an infinite discontinuity. So anytime there's a discontinuity, we don't have a derivative at that point. Boom. Done, right? Vertical asymptotes, jump, hole. Not continuous, not differentiable. Second time here, we've got two other ones that are continuous, but they don't have a derivative at these points. The first one is any type of sharp turn. So if they come to a point, boom, right? Sharp turn like that. Or they come like this and they go boom like that, sharp turn like that. Um, so anytime you gotta like sharp turn it, comes to like a corner, that is not differentiable. The other time is when we have a vertical tangent line. So it comes like this and like that vertical tangent line because the, ta the vertical line does not have a slope. So if it has no slope, it can't have a derivative because the tangent line is the derivative. So that's the, sec that's the other time that we have non-differentiability. So these are five character, character, character boa blocks. <laughs> Characteristic, characteristics, see I can't even say it. These are five characteristics, gotta say it slow, that destroy, destroy differentiability. Again, holes, jumps, vertical asymptotes, those are discontinuities and sharp turns and vertical tangent lines. So let's take a look at some examples here. Again, if the function is not continuous, it's not differentiable. Otherwise, we got some other thing going on. So let's take a look at, at these here. We've got the derivative. Um, let's look at the absolute value of x. Now, we already know that the absolute value of x, right? We're all pretty good at this. Boom, boom. It's a v, and we know it has a sharp turn right there. Okay, sharp turn at x equals zero, so it's not differentiable. Okay, not differentiable at x equals zero. All right, what about number nine here? We got x squared and x. So this is, if we take the derivative of a piecewise function, we take the derivative of them separately. So we're going to have the derivative is going to be 2x when x is less than zero. And we have um, 1, the derivative of x is 1 when x is greater than 0. So now if we plugged in 0 here, we get 0. If we plug in 0 here, we get 1. So 0 and 1, it gives us, an, it gives us something that's not continuous on its derivative. So if it's not continuous on its derivative at a point, then, it's not differ, then the original function is not differentiable at that point. Okay, um, if we were really looking at this graph, we have something that looks like a curve like that and a line like that. And what is that called right there? That is called a sharp turn, right? So we have a sharp turn at, um, at x equals zero. And we can see that here because, you know, here f prime of zero, or sorry, um, the limit as x approaches zero from the left, of f prime of x is not equal to the limit as x approaches zero from the right of f prime of x, giving us non-continuous uh, discontinuity for the derivative, which means that the original function is not differentiable. All right, let's look at number 10. Okay, so what's going on in this case? Well, when we plug in zero here, we're gonna get zero. The limit as x approaches zero from the left is going to be zero. The limit as x approaches zero from the right is going to be one. So that's a jump discontinuity. So it's not differentiable at x equals zero. Okay. All right. Let's look at number 11. All right, 11, we know right here simplifies out, right? When we simplify that, what do we know happens when we simplify? We've got a whole at x equals zero. So this function is not continuous 
at x equals 0. So this and on top of that, there's a vertical asymptote at x equals 1. So where is it not differentiable? It's not differentiable at x equals 0 and x equals 1. So two spots where it's not differentiable, both because we they're both not continuous. All right, let's take a look at this last one. This one looks a little weird, right? Looks con It looks continuous. It obviously is continuous. It's a cube root. But let's take a derivative. And we're going to remember this is x to the 1 third. So we're going to take the power rule. I got the power. I got negative 1 third, right? Which is going to give me 1 over 3 cube root of x. Now, what do we see here? The derivative, the derivative has a discontinuity at x equals 0. So when the derivative, when the derivative has a like a vertical asymptote, okay, so when the derivative has a vertical asymptote, what, it, what normally is going to happen there is that the, um, we're going to have that vertical tangent line that I talked about before. So in this case, x equals 0, not differentiable at x is 0 because there's a vertical tangent line. Um, there might be a sharp turn. We'll say or sharp turn. We don't know for sure. Sharp, sharp turn. That might be a sharp turn. Sharp turn. Uh, but for the most part, I'm pretty sure that this is going to end up being one of those vertical tangent lines, basically because um, the limit as the derivative approaches zero is going to be infinity. So we're going to have that. Um, you know, that's basically telling me that the slope is going on forever. Okay, um, although this is going to be different limits, and that's an odd limit, so an, or that's an odd vertical asymptote, so that might be something different. But for now, we know what we can really under, what we really need to understand is that when we take the derivative and it's not continuous at a point, then that means that it's not going to be differentiable at that point. The the original function is not going to be differentiable at that point. Okay, so guys, this is differentiability in places where we see. Um, a function being not differentiable. Remember these. They're going to come up. Talk to you soon. Bye.